Hey there, it's Tony from Hubs App. In this video, I'm going to share how to get started with affiliate marketing by using email marketing. You can get started literally today. It doesn't cost a lot to get going. And I'll share the three steps to get started. OK, so with that being said, let's dive straight in. So there are three steps, as I've mentioned. The first step is to find something to give away. So the whole purpose of building an email marketing business is you need to build a list. So you need to find something to give away. You can create a free report like a PDF. You can create a video training series. You can find eBooks to give away. Lots of things you can do to, to build a list. Now, obviously, you need to have a targeted list. So the list you're building needs to be targeted to the products that you're promoting as an affiliate and the products that you're giving away or the training that you're giving away. So everything has to be congruent through the whole system. So let's say you find something on affiliate marketing to give away and then your list and the products you're promoting to that list will be about affiliate marketing as well. So you have to keep the whole thing um, on point. It has to be related. So the first thing, find something to give away. Next stage is to find a method of giving it away. You do this by having a landing page, otherwise called a squeeze page. So visitors come to the squeeze page, they'll see what you're giving away, they enter their email address, the email address then gets added to an autoresponder, which I'll come on to in a second, and they get the product or the training that they've signed up for. So they get something for free and you get their email address. Obviously, the benefit of that is you can then follow up multiple times to those people for free. You just need to pay for an autoresponder and you can make money time and time again from that list. So recap, first thing, find something to give away. Second thing, use a landing page builder. Landing page builders, you can use ClickFunnels is a paid monthly program one of the most popular ones but it's quite pricey it's not the cheapest you can use wordpress with there's various plugins you can use to create squeeze pages in wordpress and many of the autoresponder programs that I'll, I'll will be coming on to in a second have their own landing page builders built in now get response does and aweber now does they've recently introduced their own landing pages so you, once you sign up to an autoresponder which is basically that's where your email list is going to be. That's the platform you use, the software you use to email the people. Once you've you've got that, uh, if you sign up for one of them, you don't need a separate landing page builder like ClickFunnels. Now, the, the landing pages in the autoresponder softwares, they're quite limited, but they do the job, so they will do fine. Find something to give away, build a landing page to give that away. OK, next step is to build that list. You need an autoresponder. Autoresponder is an, a piece of software you pay monthly for it and it allows you to build a list. So that's where your list will be. And that's what you use to send emails out to the list that you build. That's the three things. Email marketing, you can provide value in your emails. You can just send pitch emails if you want promoting products. If you do that, your list won't be really getting much value and they'll unsubscribe. So over time, your list will come down and down. But if you provide value in your emails and then provide a link to something you're talking about uh, via your affiliate link, then your list won't drop off as quickly. So those are the three things. And the fourth thing is obviously once you've got those in place, you're going to need some traffic. You've got your landing page set up. It's connected to an autoresponder. You found something to give away. That's all set up. You now need, step four, drive some traffic. You can use free traffic or paid traffic. Lots of different methods in each of those. You can use Facebook. You can build a Facebook profile. You can do a post a day. 
you can uh, publish posts in other groups, request friends, build your friends profile, uh, your, your friend list up on your main profile. You can create a free Facebook group, get those people into that group and use that group to promote your squeeze page or your landing page. Build your list up there. There's no point in having a Facebook group on its own because you don't own that. If Facebook closes it down, you've lost it. So it's important to get the people from Facebook onto your email list. Really important. The email list you control, that's your business. No one can take it away. And it's one of the most uh, sustainable items, one of the most profitable items you can own as an affiliate marketer. So you can also do YouTube videos like this one you're watching. You can create videos on your, the topic that you've chosen. People will come watch your videos, tell them, click the link, tell them what you're giving away. Tell them there's a link below the video at the end of your video. So they'll watch a video and they'll click through, sign up for your list. You can do blog posts, so you can create your own blog in WordPress and get free traffic from Google. And you can do paid traffic, so you can do Google ads, Facebook ads, Bing ads, banner ads, email solo ads is another useful one for when you're building a list. And that's basically how to do it. So once you've got all that in place, you've got people on your list, you can then email them as often as you choose to do. I wouldn't recommend doing more than once a day. Once a day is okay if you keep to that pattern. If you're doing it randomly, if you do them, let's say you email for the first three days, but then don't email again for a month, then they're not going to know who you are. They're probably not going to open your email. So I think keep it consistent. Either do it daily, weekly, however often you can create content for that list is how often you should set up an autoresponder because that's the other thing you can do with your email marketing software. You can set up a series of lists that goes out automatically on a daily basis or schedule that you set to everyone that signs up. So if someone signs up on day one and you've got a daily schedule, the next day they'll get email number two, next day email number three. You can put that all into your autoresponder once and then every single person that signs up goes through the same series of emails. That's the great thing about automation and email marketing software. And that's basically it. So you, you find something to give away, you create a landing page, you connect it to your autoresponder and you drive traffic, either free or paid, to that. The whole purpose of this is this. It's the list. It's building the list. The most important thing you can do as an affiliate marketer. Without a list, if you're relying on third party platforms, you don't have a, a stable business, let alone a business. You own that list, you have the business. And you can literally use that list to make money from for years and years to come. Okay, so I hope that all makes sense. I know there's a lot of information in there. If you do have any questions, drop me a comment below. I'll answer it for you as best I can. If you like this channel, please feel free to subscribe. I do post videos as often as I can. And if you'd like my number one recommendation for building an affiliate business online, then click the link right below this video and you can watch another free video on, on getting set up with that. Okay, so that's all for now and thanks for watching.